Okay, time to get online and collect my dailies from my Vegas. Huh, where's the game? Here, hang on. Oh, huh, that's weird. Well, let me try this. What? Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So if you're like me, you got a message from a friend or you got a YouTube comment, more accurately, that you weren't able to get into My Vegas Facebook. So I thought I'd go and investigate that. I clicked on the Play My Vegas app, and this is what happened. Yeah, nothing. I thought it was a little bit strange that this happened, so I thought I'd go ahead and try something else. Let's see what happens when we try to use chips. Let's go to myvegasadvisor.com. They're usually pretty reliable with this sort of thing. Okay, so going into My Vegas Free Chips over here for Facebook. And yeah, it looks like we got a couple million chips that we can use. And I know that we were able to get the daily spin yesterday, so let's try this out. Okay, nothing good happened here. That's very unusual. Okay, so somehow we're still not seeing anything here. I'm going through the Facebook page, and it doesn't look like there are any announcements for the Facebook app shutting down today. So it's got me wondering, are there other problems with the My Vegas apps? Let's go ahead and make sure that we have other options to get loyalty points on today, rather than just My Vegas. So first up, we tested the base My Vegas mobile app for Android and for iOS, and it looked like everything was working just fine. You could play the games, you're able to redeem rewards, and of course, you're getting loyalty points on a timer as always. Now, granted, we always test in the Android version. We usually don't test in the iOS version unless there are special occasions. So if you are an iOS player, you might want to test it on your iPhone yourself just to see if it's operational. So my Konami was actually functioning very well too. They did their usual offers of just whatever little random thing that they want to do to buy at the same time. The loyalty point sales were in full swing so that we were able to snag ourselves a 9 fine Irishman reward for half the price it normally would be for the 2 for 1 entrees. And of course the games were in full working order. Combine that with the ability to get loyalty points, and obviously my Konami slots is working just fine. We even found that one on the Facebook game room, even though the game room is ready to power down, so we'll see what happens next. Moving on to my Vegas Blackjack. Wow, have I never had such a bad set of hands in Blackjack before in my life? But on the other hand, everything was working really, really well. It was moving quickly, the graphics actually didn't look too bad for some reason, I'm not sure if that's directly related or not. But we were able to get our daily bonuses and the whole nine yards all fully functional. So there's a little bit of comfort for you. We're three for three for the mobile apps, let's move on to the next one. Coming in at number four, we have Pop Slots, and Pop Slots is always an interesting game. I like to walk around in it, and it looks like the walking functionality was fine. We were able to play in the main casino as well as the new luxury lounges, or newer luxury lounges, and play through a whole game there. Balloon popping worked just fine, and the loyalty points are still on a timer, so whether you're playing the slots or not, as long as you're interacting, you're definitely getting loyalty points back, so you can continue play that way. And finally, to nobody's surprise, My Vegas Bingo. Yes, My Vegas Bingo is indeed fully functioning. I didn't stress test all of the app's features, but we figured we'd just dive straight into a regular two card game. And lo and behold, it was one of our best yet. It wasn't a bingo tacular, but we got some triple bingos in there, and that was really nice. 
Obviously, we're getting our tickets, we're getting our diamonds, and you're still seeing the loyalty points count upward as long as the timer's on. Now, again, this isn't a big surprise to me, given that this is the most recent My Vegas game, but it was good to have a look at. So, yeah, Spinners and Sharks, it looks like you're actually able to play My Vegas on your mobile devices. It looks like if you want to play My Vegas on your computer, you're going to have to use an emulator like Bluestacks emulator or LD player, and I've got a download for each of them in the description box down below if you want to try them out to get your kicks on the computer. Is this going to be a permanent thing, or will My Vegas Facebook come back? Only time will tell. I'll be watching this all week, so hopefully we'll have some new answers, and I'll probably just put up a short with that information in it pretty soon. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's episode and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. On the offhanded chance that My Vegas Facebook does go away, would you stop playing the My Vegas apps or would you simply migrate to a different platform like iOS or Android? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time, though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spending, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Las Vegas Viva Las Vegas